This is another segment of Rick Davis's Talking Gold. We're gonna show you some things about gold that you probably never knew before. Maybe you'd like to, or maybe you wouldn't like to, but stay tuned for some fun and games, and hopefully we'll show you some things you didn't know. Davis Gold and Diamonds, the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds is waiting on their customers over a hundred each day. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. I know we're not the only one buying gold in this area, but we are the number one buyer of gold in this area. We want to be your friend in the jewelry business. We want your business. Thank you and God bless. For up-to-the-minute prices on gold, silver, or platinum, visit Rick's website at www.rickdavisgoldanddiamonds.com. While there, look for Rick's specials to take advantage of. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. We'd like to remind you to stop by the store at 5301 Brainerd Road. Come in and chat with us. We're always there to answer your questions. And remember, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. Right there, you knew you was coming next, didn't you? Uh-oh, surely you hadn't been to the dog track, did you? <laughs> to spoil her? Yeah. That's good. Well, my dad passed away two years ago, and I'm like, I stay with her 24-7 now. Good daughter. She just has Saturday, and I drove all the way from here, past Dalton and Cam Hill, just to take care of her every night. All right, baby. She took care of you, didn't she? Yes, for them when they get up. That's right. That's what you're supposed to do. You got $105 there, sweetheart. Does it help you and Mama? Yeah. You're welcome. I'm getting my taxes here in a few days, and I got two flip flops kicked out for me and my mom, and a, ch a cross chain. You gotta give me your dog to get the hundred and ten dollars. There you go. I'll be back. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Yeah, I see me getting back there. $20. Thank you very much. Come back and see us. Sign out Miss Norma over there. How are you doing? It's fine. How are you? Good. They're trying to make me look busy today. John, I'll get you in next, so come on back. First time I've been over here, Rick. I've seen you on the TV. Is that right? They said to be sure to tell you I've seen you on the TV. What did you watch it on? What is it? Uh, Fox? Fox? 11.30? Yeah, they got a... We got a decent little following that's kind of coming about that. It just started very, very slow. $415.68. All right. I'll do, I'll do 400 with him. Oh, okay. I just cut it back a little because gold's falling. Yeah, I seen that on A little bit this morning. 1360. It's 22 down. Right? That's all right. I won't cut it no more than that. Sign out with Miss Norma right over there, and you're ready to go, bro. Appreciate you. Yeah. 
I'll do forty dollars. Sign out with Miss Norma right over there, and you're ready to go. Thank you, sir. Yes, ma'am. How are you? Hey, hi, fine. How are you? That is some pretty diamonds. Yeah. I know it. I'd like to sell it. I'm trying to buy a house, and I'm trying to come up with a lot of money. Mm -hmm. That's what you don't want to sell this. I don't. Why? Because diamonds aren't good right now. I mean, they're okay, but they're not good. I'll tell you the... I'll tell you why, and then I think you'll understand. Three point nine times twenty-seven. Two hundred dollars is what that ring's cash value is. But look at this: eleven ninety-nine is what it would be in stores. Six hundred percent markup. If if these was just run of the mill diamonds, I'd just say we'll take you two hundred and run. These are gorgeous. They don't bring any more than that. Hi there. They don't bring any more than that right now. But they, you know, you know what I'm saying. They just. Um, yeah, yeah, I understand. She's here to see me. Oh, she is to see you. I'm sorry. Well, she's see me or uh, anybody. I'll I'll get her taken care of. Okay. All right, sweetie, you come back. Forty, you forty-five? Yeah. Thirty-one dollars. I get thirty-two out of them. Twenty, thirty-one. Sign out with Miss Norma right over there. If you know anything about it, then I got a bunch of. I usually keep it shiny, but I haven't. <laughs> um, it is quadruple silver plate. Mm -hmm. It has no reclaimable value as far as the silver in it, which it'd be two or three thousand dollars if it was sterling. Yeah. Uh, London Bridge, you can you can actually go online and Google London Bridge, which is a manufacturing company. Yes. And okay. they'll have some pictures of this on there and it'll say recommended seven hundred dollars because of its age. They'll give you the tracking record of who bought it, what ship lines, who used it, what hotels. It was probably more than ship lines. It was probably hotels and oh, really? casinos, older casinos, or, you know, I mean, it was, it's been That's around since 1930s. Mm -hmm. Your price is not going to be the silver in it, but it's who it's made by and how it's built. Okay. And it could be seven to $1,500. Well, I've already been offered eight, but I wouldn't sell it. I still won't sell it. I would hold out for the 1500 but it, that's something that you're going to have to put it on eBay or Craigslist and it's sit there and sale. wait forever. I well, just wanted you to tell me yeah, about it. Yeah, you're all right. You're, if it's not for sale, just I, figure it is a $1,500 piece and don't worry about selling. So, it, so if I get any insurance on it, I should make sure. It's At least $1,500. What's this? Just a bunch of stuff. Did you go you, through the desk up there? I did. I got my With all this? No, I'm talking about no, to sir, sort not this. With that. That's all got to be sorted. Oh, sorry. There. Well, come on, Linda. It, it would tie my desk up 30 minutes to sort it. So well, what it, about the, this? They'll do it all up there. All right. I mean, it's, it's no, you know, okay. this is very, very quick. Okay. They'll do gotcha. every bit of it. You'll gotcha. be back here in 10 minutes. There's all three right. of them, or just one of me. Okay, sweetheart. All no right. Problem. I appreciate the information. Not a problem. You can step this over there out of the way while you're doing that, <laughs> and then pick it back up.
you look like a movie star. What are you doing this with the camera for? They're filming me, not you. It's just shooting right here. And that's for commercials. If you don't want to be on there, we'll cut you out anyway. Everything. Okay. A good price on some of this ain't gonna seem like a good price, but it'll it'll be it'll be more than you get anywhere else. Where are you from? Rock Springs. Where's Rock Springs? What's it next to? It's between Lafayette and Chickamauga. I thought I'd come through there the other night. Los, Los Guerreros in Lafayette. Went down there the other night to eat. Absolutely fabulous food. Old grocery store that they just fixed some panels up and cleaned it up. Couldn't believe it. And I'm not a big fan of Mexican food. Huh? Oh, Lord, no. I, I think we ate until we was about to blow up, and I think the bill was $26 or something. $20. And just so you know, I get 540 out of it, so I'm not making, you know, normally I'd do six and pay five. Bill. What was paid for these? Do you remember? There's what they should have been retailed at because of this diamond. Very, very, very yellow. See the yellow color in it? See how yellow that stone is? Compared to white. You can tell it really good up against that. But a white stone, colorless, near colorless, is worth twice what a diamond with color in it. This is an LMN color opposed to DEF being no color. Mm -hmm. uh, that set of rings is worth about five, let's call it $600. The markup on jewelry is 600%, so six sixes is 36. Mm -hmm. That should have been every penny at mark, $3,600. You paid 72 for it. They marked it 12 times the cost of six hundred dollars, they marked it twelve times to seven thousand dollars, and then that's what he bought it at. So six times the materials, that's what the stores should have it marked. Most of them rounded up to thirty-six because of labor and stone setting, and you know it's just it is what it is. You know, now whoever you offered this to, if they offered you six hundred dollars, they're buying it at worth, at cash worth. If they said, oh, I'll give you $2,000 for it, you gave 7000 somebody says, I'll give 2000 you're doing really well. I mean, real well for a dealer. What do they offer you for that? For the jacket and the ring, mm -hmm. $2,900. $2,900 is an individual, it's not a dealer. Right. right. See, they don't know anything. But I had it so yeah, but they're guessing at it. Yeah, they're guessing at it. They're thinking, well, if I can buy it for half what the appraisal is, I've got to be getting a good deal. Go jerk their arm off. If they tell you I ain't got but 25, take their money immediately. Don't even don't even think about going anywhere else. I mean, that's that's worth, if you was my baby sister, $600 is every nickel that brings you cash. So you're getting $2,000 extra because they don't know. They think they know and they're guessing that maybe that stuff's 
worth half of what it's marked, and they're paying you based on that. <laughs> Boy, they're gonna wake up one of these days. Okay. Alrighty. I you want to sell this? No. Nope. Okay. I don't blame you. It's, it's metals. It's you know all you're looking at there is the gold. That's all it's going to bring. The little diamonds in there is going to you know sixty seventy dollars. Right. Watch the market. You're going to see go go back up to nineteen again, which will take that right on up to seven eight nine hundred dollars. Just watch it as it goes and as it moves up. When it gets around 19, the record was 1912 yeah. back in February. So it should be back there July, August. Watch it when it gets back up there. Come in and get you $1,000, $1,200. By then you'll have your head screwed on straight and all your other things will be out of the way. Bye-bye. Check this, huh? If it looks like it's got copper under it, it does. And, and most of your line is, this is British and Great Britain and stuff like that that's, it'll hold true as far as sterling, with it'll paw out or the paw down. Most of the time it is. But I mean, I've got to look at it and tell. Right here you've got $110 in those pieces. I'll pay 100 bucks for it. Um, I'm, this is all good except this, and that's about 80% silver, but it'll all come out in the wash. Okay. Whatever you think you're doing. Uh, well, I mean, that's, that's, I I've done it a long time, and I won't miss it far. If I miss it $5, your favorite, my favorite, either one, it's not going to hurt either one of us. Sign out with Miss Norma. Okay. Thank you very much. We're going to break away for a couple of minutes and have a commercial break. But we'd like to invite you to 5301 Brainerd Road. Stop by and see us, ask us some questions, look around, just make yourself at home. We want you to feel comfortable with us at the store as well as on television. So we hope you return more often. Davis Golden Diamonds, the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Golden Diamonds is waiting on their customers, over a hundred each day. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. Rick Davis Golden Diamonds, paying you more for your gold. Now you can watch Rick Davis Talking Gold anytime on Rick's YouTube channel. Just type in www.youtube.com backslash user backslash Rick Davis buys gold. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. The following is a clip from Night Talk, Judy O'Neill. 
where we take call-ins and answer questions live on the air. We hope that you pick up some questions you may have and some answers and hope that it's helpful to you. If not, feel free to stop by our store, come in 5301 Brainerd Road. We'll try to answer any questions you may have on any items, gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. We're buying all day, every day, and your friend in the jewelry business. All right, you're next, caller, go ahead. Yes, Rick, I would like to know what about turquoise, and it's real turquoise that come from Texas. My husband used to be a truck driver in at least 30 years ago. Are you watching us tonight? Yes, sir. I Can see you it. see that piece of turquoise I'm holding up? Yes, sir. Shooting on that rocky so you can see it. That is a uh, turn it around that way. That is a hand carved piece of turquoise that's carved into an eagle with red coral and sterling silver around it. In the day this piece sold for somewhere around six hundred dollars. I'm talking about back in the late seventies when turquoise was all the craze. <laughs> Today we've got it at ninety five dollars at the store. It has sixty five dollars worth of silver in it. So that's giving very little for the workmanship, but you know that's just the that's the nature of the beast. Yes, sir. I, I'm sorry, I told you Texas, but he said it came from New Mexico. Yes, ma'am. I knew what you meant. Okay, and it's you know like the size of a dime maybe, and it's sitting that sterling silver. But we don't wear turquoise no more, so I didn't know if it would be worth anything. It can. I mean, we buy it every day. So, you People know, the more of it you have, the, the more we buy. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you're next over here on your side. Okay, Rick, I have a 1936 silver dollar. A 36 silver dollar? 1936, yes. Uh, I, I don't know what to say to you. I think they... Uh, I was thinking the last silver dollar was 35, but uh, 36 is probably going to be uh, 24 to 30 dollars, unless it, unless it's a, a Carson City or some kind of a real key mint mark. Okay, just, I'll just bring it in and let you look at it. Just the silver in it should be worth 30 dollars. Okay. Okay, you're next over here with your question for Rick. Uh, Rick, I have a uh, two carrots men's cluster diamond ring and could you give me a ballpark figure on that without seeing it uh, do, you, do you know what the gold in it how heavy it is or how much it weighs uh, I wouldn't have I don't have a clue all right let's just base it on the diamonds is it you said two carats yes uh, how many stones it, I don't know if it's seven or eight I don't have it well, there's a there's a seven stone variation, and then there's a 18 and 19 stone variations. The reason oh, I have. wouldn't have that. Many, don't have that many. So seven stones. Yes. <clears throat> Let's assume for a minute that it's eight stones. Eight stones would be a quarter of a carat each to equal two carats. Um, you should be looking at anywhere from nine to twelve hundred dollars. Oh really? Now if it's if the stones are immaculate and the gold mounting weighs $300, you can look at it being somewhere between twelve dollars and $1,500. Big variation in the quality of the diamonds is what's going to be your big factor. Right. Does that answer your question? Yes. And, and that's uh, an estimate. You know, I've got to see it to tell you exactly, but there's oh, no yeah, charge. I, I, I realize that. Okay. Wait, Judy, I want to have to. Okay. Uh, what about a 1935 half dollar in good shape? Uh, about ten dollars. Ten dollars to eleven dollars is if it's not a key coin or a key mint mark. Just the silver content in it. Yes. Well, did I hear you say a while ago that you buy watches of all kinds? Sir? Yes, sir. I've got a Bulba that I know is 59 year old because I've had it that long from kids and. Uh, I didn't know whether... Is it a gold watch or is it just a gold overlay? It's gold. I think it's gold. <laughs> just the watch, not a band or anything? Just the watch yeah, gold? the band, yeah. Estimate somewhere around 150 to maybe $170 in just the gold for the case. 
And then if it's something that we can use as a collector watch, it'll go up from there. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, you're holding on over here, caller. You're next. Go ahead, caller. Go ahead. Yeah, I was, I was just curious about how much uh, $2 bills is worth. The older ones, 1957 and back. Well, they're in good condition. But are they the old ones, not the new ones, not the 76 models? The old $2 bills, we pay $4 a piece for them. Yes, sir. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, the one name to remember if you are selling your gold, silver, diamonds, or coins. While other jewelry stores are waiting for customers, Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds is waiting on their customers over 100 each day. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. For up-to-the-minute prices on gold, silver, or platinum, visit Rick's website at www.rickdavisgoldanddiamonds.com. While there, look for Rick's specials to take advantage of. Rick Davis Gold and Diamonds, your friend in the jewelry business. like to thank you for watching the show. Hope you got some knowledge out of it. Hope you learned some things and picked up some footnotes along the way that didn't you didn't fully understand. If we can answer any questions, remember we're located at 5301 Brainerd Road. We're your friend in the jury business. Thank you and God bless. Mm -hmm.